In the hazy sepia tones of yesteryears, when television screens were more of a window to the world rather than an infinite scrolling vortex, there emerged a gem that sparkled with espionage, camaraderie, and a dash of 1960s charm. It was an era when black and white imagery carried vibrant tales, and the very notion of a spy held an air of intrigue that wafted through the living rooms of families across the globe. Enter the enthralling embrace of the 1965 TV series, I Spy. Do you remember that very first encounter with the show? The flicker of anticipation as the credits rolled, unveiling the indelible duo of Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott. As the screen wove tales of international intrigue and undercover exploits, perhaps you found yourself drawn into their world. A world where friendship was forged amidst clandestine missions, where humor was a shield against danger, and where the pulse of adventure danced in rhythm with the theme music. What were the moments that etched themselves into your memory? Was it a daring escape across cobblestone streets? A witty exchange that made you chuckle in quiet admiration? Or perhaps the way the show managed to blend heart-pounding suspense with a backdrop of cultural exploration, showcasing the vibrant tapestry of global landscapes. The memories are unique to each viewer, but the resonance of those moments remains timeless. Now, let's peel back the layers of time and explore the enigmatic behind-the-scenes tales and lesser-known anecdotes that colored the creation of this iconic show. Discover the intricate interplay of personalities that brought the characters to life the serendipitous twists that led to captivating storylines, and the delicate balance between entertainment and a changing world. So, as we embark on this journey of rediscovery, take a moment to recollect your own rendezvous with I Spy and the myriad emotions it stirred within you. From the shadows of the past, well illuminate the pastel hues of a bygone era, revealing the subtle brushstrokes that painted the canvas of this unforgettable series. Bill Cosby's reluctant start, a twist in the making of I Spy in the annals of television history. The 1965 series I Spy stands as a testament to the unexpected turns that often shape creative endeavors. While the show itself was a groundbreaking blend of espionage and humor, its inception bore its own fascinating tale. Bill Cosby's journey to becoming a central figure in the series was far from conventional. According to a revealing TV Guide interview with his co-star Robert Culp, Cosby's involvement was a result of intricate negotiations and an unforeseen twist of fate. Initially, Cosby displayed little interest in the project, even going so far as to deliver a less than flattering audition that left the producers less than impressed. Enter Robert Culp, who not only shared an undeniable on-screen chemistry with Cosby, but also proved to be a real-life mediator. Culp, recognizing Cosby's potential and unique comedic talents, stepped in to bridge the gap between the hesitant comedian and the producers. His efforts were not in vain, as he not only helped Cosby secure the role, but also fostered a partnership that would become the heart of the series. Their bond extended beyond the screen. The camaraderie forged during the production of I Spy blossomed into a genuine friendship that persisted long after the final episode aired. This dynamic duo showcased the power of collaboration, showcasing a level of mutual respect that was palpable in their performances and enduring off-screen connection. Behind the glamorous veneer of the series lay a notable financial challenge. The allure of filming on foreign locations, while undoubtedly adding an air of authenticity to the show, also brought with it mounting budgetary concerns. The production consistently struggled to remain within financial limits, with the cost of shooting on location often spiraling beyond the initial estimates. I Spy thus emerged as a series that defied expectations, not only through its gripping narratives, but also through the intricate narrative of its own creation. Cosby's reluctant start, Culp's pivotal role, their enduring friendship, and the financial hurdles faced during foreign shoots all combined to shape a narrative that mirrored the show's own unexpected twists and turns. In a world where television production often follows a well-worn path, I Spy reminds us that sometimes it's the deviations from the norm that lead to the most memorable outcomes. Racial dynamics and artistic integrity, the unveiled struggles of I Spy in the tumultuous landscape of 1965, television series I Spy ventured where few dared. Originally conceived as a dynamic interplay between an older mentor, and his trainee, the show faced a casting twist that would reverberate through its narrative and social context. Bill Cosby, already a comedic force, was cast as Alexander Scott, a role initially intended for an older mentor figure. 
Executive producer Sheldon Leonard's keen eye saw beyond convention, selecting Cosby after witnessing his comedic prowess firsthand. This shift, however, bore the weight of the era's racial tensions. Cosby's character was marked by occasional references to his race, a nod to the complexities of the times. Yet, even as Martin Landau's character delivered a racial jab in Danny was a million laughs, Cosby and co-star Robert Culp took a stand. Demanding an end to such racial humor, they secured a promise that resonated throughout the show's lifespan. Culp and Cosby's dynamic wasn't confined to their roles. Their off-screen camaraderie birthed a unique banter that breathed life into their characters. Their chemistry transcended scripted lines, and their improvisation became a hallmark of the series. Her writing dialogues became second nature, a response to their dissatisfaction with the scripts. Three seasons in, I Spy faced an unexpected decline in ratings. Shifted from Wednesdays to the same slot as the Carol Burnett show on Mondays, its viewership waned. NBC offered a choice, renewal or a new venture. Sheldon Leonard, anticipating diminishing returns and creative fatigue, chose the latter, birthing my friend Tony instead. Relief mingled with weariness as I Spy concluded. Culp and Cosby, fatigued from the series' demands, bid farewell, while Leonard held on to his belief that the show's legacy would fare better in syndication. The struggles and triumphs of I Spy remain a testament to a groundbreaking era, etched in the annals of television history. I Spy, pioneering diversity and catchphrase wonderfulness I Spy, the groundbreaking 1965 TV series, holds a prominent place in television history as the first American dramatic show to feature a black actor in a lead role. Starring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby as undercover agents, the series defied conventions of its time, blending espionage with humor and camaraderie. The show's scripts were characterized by unique lingo, an aspect that added a distinctive flavor to its storytelling. One particular catchphrase, wonderfulness, gained traction among viewers and even found its way into popular culture. Notably, Bill Cosby later titled one of his comedy albums with this very word, showcasing the enduring impact of the series. Robert Culp, a central figure in I Spy, also contributed to the show's creative process. He penned seven episodes himself, a notable feat in an industry where writing and acting rarely intersect seamlessly. Remarkably, Culp revealed that these seven episodes remain true to his original scripts, a rarity in the realm of television production. As with any pioneering work, I Spy faced its share of parody and satire. Mad Magazine, known for its satirical takes on popular culture, spoofed the series as Why Spy. This playful nod underscored the show's cultural significance and its enduring place in the public consciousness. I Spy not only entertained audiences, but also challenged societal norms, opening doors for greater diversity and representation on television. Its impact transcended its era, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. The legacy of I Spy continues to remind us of the power of television to influence, inspire, and incite change. The tiger roars to life, Culp's Bond-esque vision takes form in I Spy in the dynamic world of 1960s television. A remarkable convergence of creativity and espionage found its place in the renowned series I Spy. Before its launch, a serendipitous collaboration emerged between actor-writer Robert Culp and Hollywood's visionary minds. Culp's Bond-inspired dreams materialized into reality, shaping a riveting episode and contributing to the show's enduring legacy. Long before he teamed up with the charismatic Bill Cosby on screen, Culp penned a pilot script infused with the spirit of James Bond, featuring an American spy of his own making. A meeting with the sharp-witted Carl Reiner set the wheels in motion, as Reiner's endorsement paved the way to Sheldon Leonard's door. The result, The Tiger, an episode brought to life in the inaugural season of I Spy. The episode unfurls in exotic locales and intricate intrigues, mirroring the espionage tales that captured global audiences at the time. Culp's handiwork shines through in every twist and turn, as his Bond-like alter ego navigates danger and deceit with a suave flair. The script's metamorphosis from an audacious vision to a screen reality underscores the collaborative synergy that fueled television's golden age. Beyond its narrative prowess, the tiger stands as a testament to the era's progressive ambitions. As I Spy showcased the genuine camaraderie between Culp and Cosby, it also confronted social norms. 
While its groundbreaking portrayal of the black actor, Cosby, as an equal to his white counterpart was a milestone in television history, it encountered resistance in the American South. Some NBC affiliates shunned the show, highlighting the tension of a nation at the crossroads of change. From Culp's audacious script to the magnetic chemistry he shared with Cosby, the tiger remains a shimmering gem in the ice spy constellation. Its adventurous spirit and bold storytelling continue to resonate with audiences, mirroring the innovation that defined 1960s television. As we celebrate the show's legacy, we're reminded that television's power lies not only in entertainment, but in its reflection of society's aspirations and challenges. As we journey through the timeless landscapes of television history, one series stands as a beacon of camaraderie, espionage, and cultural significance. The enigmatic gem of 1965, I Spy. As the curtain falls on our exploration of this captivating show, let its episodes continue to resonate in the corridors of your memories. The interplay between Kelly and Scotty, their seamless partnership, and the tapestry of global locales they painted with their adventures invite you to traverse not just the terrains of espionage, but the landscapes of your own experiences. How did their camaraderie mirror the bonds you forged? Did their escapades kindle your wanderlust, leaving footprints on the sands of your imagination? As you muse upon the echoes of this 1965 masterpiece, take a moment to unearth the stories that it stirred within you. How did I spy etch itself onto the canvas of your life? Was it a backdrop to you full afternoons, a connection shared with loved ones, or perhaps a source of inspiration that guided your own quests? In the tapestry of time, I Spy remains a thread that intertwines with your individual narrative. So, as we part ways, I invite you to share your cherished reminiscences and reflections on this remarkable show. Your stories add to the patchwork of human experience, stitching together moments and emotions that mirror the spirit of Kelly and Scott's timeless escapades. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane, for pausing to reflect on the indelible mark of I Spy, and for sharing your personal connections with us. Here's to the stories it has woven into our lives and the memories it continues to cultivate. Until our next narrative rendezvous, stay captivated by the magic of storytelling. Warm regards and with appreciation for your time and interest.